Hello everyone, so this is my latest render and today we are going to see your making of it. So let's jump to 3ds Max. Okay, so here is my scene. Let me hide all this. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to unhide my original plane. And here as you can see, this is looking like some unevenness in the ground. So let me explain this thing. So here I'm using Tessellate with the highest division, which is 4 iteration and then I'm using edit poly where I'm majorly using paint deformation and what I'm doing here is I'm pulling and pushing down the plane so it will it's giving me unevenness and I'm making some instance of this one so let me show that one and here it is plane tree and plane grass so this one is plane grass which is covering my whole scene and whole surface let me hide this okay so this is plain tree and as you can see I deleted some faces here this is because uh, my camera is placed there so trees will not come in front of my cam so I am making some free space there and the surrounding will be full of trees so let me hide this one also okay so let's see a uh, forest so this is the grass which I'm using where I have multiple geometries. Yeah, and the global scale of 120. So depends on your scene scale. And here is my transform. Here I'm here I have enabled translation, rotation, and scale because I'm I want some randomization and variation in it. So I'm using all three together and this is our tree oh, let me unhide okay so here are all of my trees I have some random trees and variation and with the global scale of 150 as you can see and with transformation so here as you can see I am using only rotation and scale there is no uh, randomization in the translation and now I have one more area where I'm using forest back parts so basically what this thing is doing is it's covering my camera which is giving me a actual shadow and the sunlight inside the camera view so it gives us a feel like it's covering the whole environment and our camera is placed inside the forest somewhere and let's see the lights yeah here it is so this is a basic video sun I have given the direction okay so let's jump to render settings so here as you can see I have added all the elements which I need I'm using bucket instead of progressive subdivision of 64 and the GI is brute force and light cache no additional changes I have made and let's hit the render so this is what you are going to see so as you can see we have some haze here and the nice environment and the lighting and all so let me show you how I made those haze so let's go to environment and effects here you can see I have a effect which called V-Ray aerial perspective so what it, uh, it is doing is it's giving me a aerial perspective which basically stands for the haze it will give you the haze according to your scene depth and all so you can set the parameters here for the height and the range as per your scene okay so this is how you will get your render okay so let's see the fog okay so this will look quite different as compared to the old one this is why because here I'm using all shadows by default a black I have selected all my A2 forest and I'm going to video properties here I'm using matte object with the alpha contribution of minus one so what it's doing is it's giving me a nice and perfect matte you can close this one here you have to add environment fog and here three parameters basically I'm changing which is fog distance and fog height and the subdivision 
so basically the first two values are depend on my scene scale uh, as you can see uh, I have built my scene which is the uh, thousand feet and with the same settings I have turned off the GI and I have added a render element which is VD atmosphere so let's hit the render okay so this is what you will get so wherever your sun rays are coming it will show you like a fog like some fog is there basically you can call a god rays also and let's jump to the nuke so we can see uh, how I did the compositing so here as you can see I have all of my passes okay so let's check the flow this is my beauty pass and then I'm adding ambient occlusion on it by doing some little bit corrections so this is how it is looking okay before and after and then I'm using my lighting pass and doing some little bit correction here also and then in specular so as you can see I'm using only few passes which I have rendered because it's giving me a nice look here so there is no need to make it so hard so I, here I need atmosphere a little bit dark for the depth and here I'm adding god rays which is our B refer I made some duplicates of it and at last I'm using my Z depth as a D focus so it will give us a more and nice depth and then the aspect ratio it's just a crop of black strips and then the final render so here it is if you have any questions you can ask me in the comment box and I will see you guys in the next tutorial thank you